Let's get a full look at weather now with our chief meteorologist, Dan Sianka. Dan, it has been so dry lately. I got to ask you, when is it going to rain? And now an answer to the question that everyone's asking, including Austin, when's it going to rain? Well, Sunday. Probably. Oh. So like six days away. Before then, chances are pretty low. Let's talk about why. Here's a live look from Domenico's on the wharf tonight. Things pretty calm here tonight. Across the central coast, not much going on. Might see a few low clouds out there overnight, a little patchy fog, but ultimately we're going to be in this uh, pattern of blocking high pressure for the next several days. Sure, we got a little weather system that passed by overnight. Last night into the today, we see some cooler air aloft here across the west coast. That's what cooled us down about four degrees from yesterday's highs, although we were still above normal today. But then this ridge just kind of builds back in and blocks things off for the rest of the week. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, dry, dry, dry. Saturday, probably dry as well. But look what's going on out here. We've got a deep trough digging out, and it does tap into some subtropical moisture, maybe even some tropical moisture. Kind of depends on where you want to draw the line either way. Uh, and it's going to have some rain with it. And eventually, the ridge starts to move to the east. So here it is, kind of centered over the Great Basin. And then by the time we get to Saturday, it's more like centered over the Four Corners. And next thing you know, this area of low pressure makes its approach on us. And I think it will arrive first on Sunday with one first wave of rain and probably a couple more rotating around the overall area of low pressure. Now, what we've been in lately is almost what you would commonly see during a La Nina winter, which is blocking high pressure over California and rain being basically directed up into uh, the Pacific Northwest. Pacific Northwest is typically pretty wet during La Nina. Now, obviously, we are in El Nino and a strong one at that. The typical pattern, or the more often pattern, is a pretty direct jet stream across the Pacific. Now, the Earth is curved, so it doesn't really look direct, but off of the distance here is Japan. So it's really kind of a direct shot when the jet stream is like this on this particular map. So it looks like the alignment starts to occur after about a week or so, maybe after a week and a half, which is gonna mean that we're gonna be in what's more commonly an El Nino style pattern. It doesn't always work out that way, but that means more frequent and potentially stronger storm systems. This first one on Sunday doesn't look all that bad. Probably brings some light to moderate rain to the region. Then it follows another one probably midweek next week. That one looks like it might have a little more strength to it. And then beyond that, potentially more all the way through the holiday and potentially into the new year, looking at some of the long-term trends. So this dry start to December may not finish that way, although it is still a ways out. We're not even going to be watching that next system until six days from now. A lot can change in between now and then. And of course, beyond that, it gets even harder to see through the murk and mire of the crystal ball. But most of the models showing a much more active weather pattern, these longer term, more planetary scale models showing much more active weather pattern for the West Coast as we head toward the end of the month. Well, we're watching that closely for you, obviously. In the meantime, Get out there, do your shopping, maybe finish decorating whatever you need to do this week. You won't have any problems with the weather. A little fog tomorrow morning, though, potentially, especially up in the Santa Clara Valley, maybe all the way down to San Juan and Hollister. And then a patchy fog possible on the coast. The model's showing quite a bit of low cloud cover in the bay tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to buy that. I think if we do see anything, it'll be very isolated as far as clouds are concerned. And otherwise, looking at mostly sunny skies as we begin to see drier air infiltrate once again. Might see a little patchy fog tomorrow night, but for the most part, another sunny day tomorrow. Temperature should be pretty close to to what we had today. Uh, I did some calculations over the northern part of the viewing area. We see temperatures rise two degrees from today. And then in the south, we fall two degrees. But overall, I don't think we'll see too much of a change. Here's what I'm expecting for highs, though. In some cases, we'll probably be a little bit cooler, especially along the coast, with uh, out the mixing winds of those frontal boundaries that you couldn't even see passing through today. It's more likely that our inversion is a little stronger tomorrow, so that'll probably keep the lower elevations a little bit cooler. So I've got you cooled down to 63 in Santa Cruz and 62 in Capitola. Meanwhile, on the hills, we're still in the mid-60s. San Lorenzo Valley, Scotts Valley as well, and even up on the top of the hill there with low 60s. Salinas to Wattsville, low 60s tomorrow. Tomorrow, mid 60s, Hollister, Gilroy, back to the Bay Shore, low 60s, the peninsula, pretty much low 60s. But again, even though this kind of seems cool compared to, you know, the last six or seven months of weather, these temperatures will be at or above normal for this time of year tomorrow once again. Down south, more mid 60s. That's what you're going to get tomorrow. A few spots will start off at or slightly below freezing tomorrow morning. So looking at that seven day forecast again, warm weather for the remainder of the week. Um, mostly sunny skies, few high clouds passing here. There should be some nice sunrises and sunsets. And then 
things start to change. Sunday, Monday, have rain in the forecast. Right now, that doesn't look like a huge storm. Of course, we'll keep an eye on things for you. We've got rain and wind in the forecast at the moment, but uh, we'll be keeping an eye on things. Inland areas, not much difference. Obviously, your lows will be a little bit colder, but uh, you know, stay tuned to the forecast. So make sure you're watching, and then, of course, download the KIO and Weather Authority app, and you can help keep track yourself there. Definitely. I know I'm looking forward to that little bit of rain. Thank you so much, Dan.